this is Adrian from Tactical Project Manager and this is the second video interview I'm doing. It's really exciting and uh, today my guest is Galeano. He's a project manager from Brazil. My name is Galeano. I'm from Brazil. I, I actually arrived, it's been two months that I arrived here in Lisbon. I'm a project manager uh, in Brazil. I've been working on this area since 2010, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to share a bit why I came, right? I mean, quickly, but I was, I mean, in a good place, actually, even professionally or personally in Brazil, in a good, uh, let's say, standard of life. But this brought to me a bit the idea that I was definitely, you know, accommodated a bit about my, my, my professional my skills, about my, my personal uh, maturity. So me, my, and me and my family decided to to come to invest on my on my uh, not only resume, let's say, but in my life. And as a Brazilian, I don't have anything special to say. Like I don't play football, or I don't have anything <laughs> <laughs> different that I could share here that eventually the Brazilian does. I like football. I just don't like the fact that last World Cup Brazil took the seven. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I have a, a theory that I believe we shouldn't be like stable until a certain age. I think we should always, I mean, looking for growing personally, professionally, academically, all the aspects of your life, maturity speaking. Mm. And, and I think the fact that you put yourself in a place, in a different place, where you need really to put effort to know how to learn their culture, how to live on their country, um, how to understand their logic, because I think the culture brings different logics from different people. No, they don't see the, 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 I mean, the life as we see. So all of that made me come. I, I started my career when I got graduated as a technical, uh, me, uh, mechanical technician mm -hmm. in industries. So this was, let's say, my the direction I was going professionally, working in industries. But 2010, I, get, I, I received the opportunity to start working, uh, managing projects, manufacturing projects. Was was a company that provides that, that I mean manufacturing machines that produce uh, big diaper or machines that produce uh, leg napkins. Mm -hmm. So our big machines. We're talking about machines between five up to 7 million euros as budget. Wow, yeah. budget are heavy big stuff. Ones. <laughs> yes, I, I like air plans because it takes 9 to 11 months to get ready, mm. depending on the, the contract, if it's going to be tested, if you go to make products uh, on, the, on the plant. Mm. So are big machines and a, a lot of opportunities to put all the concepts and methodology of the project management because you start from a contract and you finish when you have the signature from the customer, let's say. I started like understanding that this was my strong, uh, let's say, profile, strong soft skills that was working under hard pressure and I mean leveraging on the team, speaking, making a, a strong link with managers and uh, the execution team. So I started dealing with bad information. On top of that, working with the team to solve the, to put the machine back again working. Mm -hmm. A simple example. But I saw that other people had more difficult. For example, to come to the manager and say, "Look, we need to stop what our maintenance team is doing. They need to go on the machine. We need to inform the director eventually." And so they were very nervous, and we were very young. And when I was young, this was easy for me. Yeah. Like communicate a, a, a problem. I mean, okay, it wasn't my problem. I mean, it wasn't it's my problem now, but didn't come. I didn't decide it. Right, this happened. And yeah. he definitely transparently opened it to solve. Yes. For me, it was like common making this kind of communication and having this. Um, it was okay. I mean, it's a company issue, and we're I mean, right here to solve. It's not uh, that we. Uh, I mean, this is not my, my mistake. I think I will yeah. write a comment. I will 
the shoe leaving. <laughs> so you didn't take it personally, but you <laughs> you recognized there was a problem, and compared to other people, you just stayed very calm, probably. Yeah. And did and the I think that, steps. Yeah, and I think that started showing me that I mean, because I started putting myself under. Uh, I, I could see that I could handle it in smaller and bigger with smaller and bigger issues. And bigger issues, I mean, bigger challenges, because we know, right, I mean, we work at projects that eventually happen at something big, mm. like really you didn't sleep at night with this issue, because you knew that another day you should communicate it for your customer. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, we know it, we know it that we pass through that. Mm. When I started looking for a job on this, on this area, like a project manager, I was trying to sell my best skills technically, so this was the reason that I managed to get project management uh, work a pro as a project manager in the industry. Mm. So I tried to sell my the skills that on top of the project management, uh, it could be good for the company. This was my, I mean, my starting point. Mm. What I knew that I could add, and I think have a, currently we have a lot of uh, websites and YouTubers that really help you to how, I mean, prepare, write your CV when you want to change, I mean, your field, let's say. Mm -hmm. And I kind of did that, working hard, like really trying to adapt my resume with my skills, my stronger skills technically and stronger soft skills that I could sell. And she said, look, okay, I didn't come from a project as project manager, but look, I worked as a in the maintenance area where I was leveraging on the TPM, for example, uh, um, methodology that was pretty similar. I worked on that communication on bad moments. Uh, technically, I know it, so I tried to work hard on that and work it. I mean, and the soft skills was easily um, sold when I was. Under interview. Ah, okay, okay. So th this was my, my 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 let's say my 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 card, right? Yeah. My image. And I think everybody who talks to you immediately recognizes that you are this kind of person or personality who who can you know who is speaking confidently and you're not like easily you know uh, made nervous when something goes wrong. If we're working in a project environment or your work, whatever you are, uh, regardless of the issue you're having, if you know you're going to crash, right? If you know eventually the project is going to explode, you must, I mean, uh, carry the project as calm as possible and taking the right decision, even mm. if it's the fact that the project will not go well. Mm. Uh, communicate properly and, I mean, go, okay, we know that it's not that easy, right? But yes. Yes. I would say this is, this is our aim, this is, uh, and I've learned that since the beginning, so this was what helped me out to start working as a project manager. I would say, I mean, for the first thing I've learned is treat issues with data. I mean, you, you, the data must talk by its, I mean, it's not your, uh, let's say, feeling about the, when you're going to, to, to share something. Can be from your feeling. Even you having data, I think that the human being tends on a company environment, on a corporate environment, tends to get personally or, or like, uh, sorry, I, I have this to share. <laughs> no, I think it's data. I mean, like, okay, we're with the machine broken since two hours. Uh, the production is having this kind of problem. And right now we need to solve, we need to work on that. We have up to six hours to solve it mm. without uh, start consuming our stock. So we have three guys to make it. Uh, they will leave at five o'clock. So this is data. Even the simplest issue, you can use leverage on data. I think everyone can be a good project manager in a good environment, meaning projects without issues, because this does not exist. Yes, exactly. Right. So I would say that the starting point is dealing with issues. I, I hate when you can't do anything because of the time or because I don't know any different situation. 
and you remember that you should have done something. This is the first thing that really, really stressed me out. Like yes. I was at, I don't know, two o'clock uh, in the morning going to the bathroom and I knew tomorrow morning I had something to do. And ah. I remember that I should have done something yesterday very critical and I didn't do. The, I mean, I'm sharing this example, but have a lot. The things that you could have done with the team or alone that you didn't do, you didn't trigger it right at some point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you are under the So it's your issue. This is the first category. It's a, it's a big problem. And I mean, take out good nights of sleep from us. <laughs> yes, yes. Especially on the weekend. On the weekend when you're thinking about your project and you think, oh, there's some some problem I have, some issue I have to fix next week and I, I keep thinking mm -hmm. about it. So um, that's sometimes not so not so nice, but that's how it is. It's not, I right. think the first category is so it's uh, when the issue is yours, when you realize that as project manager, you should have triggered something or done something you didn't, and now we, you put something on the project in trouble because of you. This is the, the worst one, and it's tough to don't get it personally because you know you made a, a mistake, yes. say, right? Hmm. And the other thing that always is very tough to handle is when the environment brings you something that you didn't know that could happen. This would uh, I would say this this is a. Uh, uh, very tough to handle as well because you, you you kind of bring as your mistake like why I didn't see that I could have done see this or what it is that I didn't see that this would happen yeah because it's not your issue at all because you have a team to figure it out when we're during the planning period right I mean you can contribute with your knowledge but you have a team you should they, they, they should have captured that but you take it personally yeah, yeah. And, right this is I would say I would say even three categories because then you have the third one that is when you plan it, everything should go right and don't go right. I mean, your plan with the team and when you start executing, something happens uh, and you don't even know how you could have I mean, anticipated that. Mm, mm. I would say this is the third category for me. Oh, yeah. there are more, but one, of the many, <laughs> one of the many... Areas <laughs> for problems. That's yes. That's great. So these three things is difficult to don't get it personally at the night. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And eventually the moments in, in which we are hanging out or drinking something, but later when we get some a summer, you'll see <laughs> that uh, you, you 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 take it personally. And I think it's difficult to handle. I, what I see. It's the maturity, and I fortunately I think the time it's. Uh, a big player on that. I think with the, the experience you start having by facing those issues is what will, I mean, determine it, what, how you will handle it because you start having, I mean, past mm. history, uh, historic issues similar, mm. and you start having a background that in the end uh, didn't cause you any personal mm. problem. So yeah, yeah. It's, but it, this is happening, fortunately, with the maturity, in my point of view, and with the timing, working on facing different issues that nice. will make you have, you can, we can remember, unconsciously, that those issues didn't bring you that big, I mean, impact that you thought it eventually yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes. I think it's the time. It is as when you are young and you, I don't know, you, you make a small mistake, and for you, it's the biggest mistake of your life. When you get older, you see that was something okay. Who cares? <laughs> Galliano, it's, it was so great to talk to you. Um, I think it was really inspiring for, for the readers of Tactical Project Manager. And uh, thanks a lot for taking the time um, to, to discuss here the, the questions I had. And uh, I will share the, the video soon on the blog and on YouTube. So thanks a lot and uh, stay in touch. Sure, many thank you. And to be part of your, I mean, contact uh, growing, uh, let's say, plan clearly is, uh, I'm following you and I see the content now is better and better and, and really helpful for us. Great. So I'm, I'm happy to, 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 to help and I can, I, I want to help more eventually in other situations. I'm glad to be, to be part of this interview 
And as soon as you publish, please share it to me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I want I to see how we, we, we went on this one. But it was good, very good for me. Thanks a lot again, Galliano. Have a nice weekend. Bye-bye.